It was really interesting because Sackville identified back in the 1970s this connection between poverty and tenancy law. Can we say that there's just been a kind of a black and white improvement? Well, it's not as simple as that, of course. I mean, the one major recommendation that was made in the report, which has not been taken up in any Australian jurisdiction, was that every residential tenancy agreement could only be terminated uh, for just cause, only if the landlord had a good reason to terminate it and the expiry of the term of the lease was not a just cause. So that is a commonplace form of protection in leases in European countries, for example, but uh, it's not been taken up in Australia. And that would mark a significant advance, I think, for tenants, and particularly for poor tenants, because, of course, there are significant additional costs associated with getting a new tenancy and finding alternative accommodation, maybe having to leave the area. A particular problem, of course, with parents with children enrolled in local schools and so on. So that is the major missing link in the reform process, uh, it seems to me. Professor Brendan Edgeworth from UNSW.